What's up guys, welcome back to another video and uh, uh, this is pretty much a continuation of the previous video. Uh, in our previous video, we started off with Flutter and uh, we saw how to create a basic application, right? Nothing more, we didn't see anything more, we just... My clock is chiming guys. But anyway, uh, that was just a basic introduction of Flutter and uh, we saw how to uh, create a app that displays hello world, right? Basically this one. In this video, We'll see how to uh, add lists and uh, dialogues in your Flutter application. Okay, it's a basic stuff. Lists you will pretty much use in any mobile application. Uh, it, it's used in a lot of uh, use cases, right? And uh, dialogues are obviously helpful as well. We'll see how to bring in both inside your uh, Flutter application. Just the basic level implementation of both. First, we'll start with lists. Uh, this is exactly where we left off in our uh, previous video. For those of you who haven't watched the previous video, there's nothing fancy about this. I just scaffolded out an application, uh, created a new application, and then uh, I'm just uh, placing hello world in the center of the screen. That's it. No, nothing else I have done here. Uh, what I'll do is, uh, we'll talk about lists. For that, I'll simply no, comment this entire thing or remove this entire thing. Why this is not needed anymore, right? Okay, uh, instead of this in the body, let's just add a list. So new list uh, view dot. First, I'll show you how to do a basic list. Okay. We'll have a list and then I'll add like uh, uh, two or three items on the list. And then we'll see how to display that on a screen. Okay, we'll, uh, this is a very basic implementation. Once again, I'm saying. Let's just debug this. Cool, right? We built a very, very basic uh, list here that displays some element. Uh, we have three children in the list and uh, all these three are getting displayed one below the other, which is basically the definition of a list. Uh, so yeah, uh, it doesn't look cool actually. It's just like someone has written a couple of uh, things to do. Uh, so what we'll do, is, this is not a clean implementation, guys. The clean implementation would look like this. We'll move this, we'll extract this code and move it to its own uh, class. So this is the my homepage state class, right? Just type STL and it will automatically ask Flutter stateless widget, right? And you can create this. Now uh, this will be my list. Okay. And inside this I am not returning a container. Instead I am returning this entire thing. Cool, right? And in the body, I'm simply doing a new. I'm instantiating this particular class. Now, if I save this once again, it'll hot reload, and we'll basically see no change since this is the same uh, thing. Now, what we'll do is we'll uh, make this look list look more beautiful. We'll have an icon on the left side something on the, uh, for example, a user's list. You have seen a user's list, right? Uh, there will be a small avatar on the left side and uh, the username and his status will be on the right side, list of users. We'll try to do something like that. So how do we do that? We'll do an infinite uh, list and uh, that infinite list will have these, uh, whatever I said just now. So uh, in order to do that, what we need to do is use the list view builder, okay. Uh, I'll remove all these instead of list view I'll be using the list view builder so inside this uh, what we can do is first we'll give a padding padding would be const edge in sets dot all uh, 4.0 okay it's a float value 4.0 and then the next thing is uh, item builder item builder. these are the list items that we are about to build we'll pass in the context and I will be the index Okay, and this is a function obviously. So, yeah. 
and uh, inside this what i lose return new list tile list tile is the one that represents a single tile uh, single element in the list uh, list tile inside this how uh, this formatting is sorry title icon right leading uh, const icon sorry icon icon dot face okay uh, cool now we'll have a list of this list this will be an infinite scrolling list we have built it using uh, list view dot builder and we have applied some basic padding uh, so inside that uh, we are using the item builder function in order to build out our entire list the list this list style is nothing but the single element in the list i am uh, defining what all it should contain it should contain a title a subtitle and a small icon leading is the one that places the icon before this to the left to the left of the screen uh, if you give it as trailing it will place it after the text to the right of the screen cool right let's see this in action so that you actually understand what I am trying to say here so I will go here see you get the change right some random username and there is a face here since we gave it as leading and uh, we can obviously scroll this is an infinite scroll you can just keep on scrolling okay so yeah this is basically what's list guys uh, I think I have explained it pretty much there are a lot of more things that you can do uh, but basically this is lists okay this is how you bring in lists ins inside your flutter application what we'll do next is you can this online we'll simply add a couple of styles so that it looks more cool style uh, new text style uh, font style font style dot italic and uh, color uh, colors dot green save this now it would look uh, green and it would be italic just like a user status if it's offline you can give it as red anyway this is how you bring in lists guys i think we are going off topic off road uh, this is how you bring in lists basically inside your uh, flutter applications now we'll move on to a basic implementation of dialogues okay uh, for this purpose i'll show you how to create a alert dialogue a confirmation dialog alert dialog can be used for any purpose suppose you're deleting something uh, you'll get an alert saying are you sure and then you'll have two options yes and no and you'll click on yes or no and uh, accordingly an action will be performed right so uh, let's see how to create a simple dialog now what i'll do is i'll get back here and then um, here i'll add a button leading uh, leading is an icon right we'll add trailing trailing uh new raised button uh, elevation uh, elevation is uh, some, uh, it's a button selling concept we'll leave that for now uh it should contain some title right oh sorry child new text uh, remove and uh, what else on pressed here is where we will call our uh, what was that showing dialog function so let me first write that function first and then we will add that here what i will do is that will be like a event happening in the future right so i will just do future uh, boolean it will return a boolean value Uh, delete dialog uh, this will be a function oh, what's this okay 
uh, so I just I was just missing an input delete dialog and uh, uh, we need the context right and inside this what I'll do is uh, return uh, show dialog hmm. context context now we'll add a builder class builder uh, this will again have build context context and uh, what else uh, it's a function right? sorry it's a function return new alert dialog uh, a child new text are you sure this is not child this is title are you sure and uh, actions uh, new flat button flat button uh, child new text yes uh, on pressed this will be a function um, navigator navigator dot uh, of context dot pop and we'll return a true value okay so that uh, you can I'll explain what this navigator dot off and navigator dot pop or push means while we deal with uh, while we look at a video based on routing guys that's where we'll be using this more often I guess uh, it's similar to ionic in one angle you can simply like push and pop I'll explain it that a bit later now we'll create another flat button comma one more flat button but this time it's no and uh, here it is false false okay now we have like a sorry now we have like a separate class that uh, returns a dialog okay a simple show di show dialog that i wrote just now and it will return an alert dialog uh, it's asking are you sure and uh, it has it gives you two options yes and no and when you ta tap on yes, it returns true. And when you tap on no, it returns false. That's it. Now we'll go ahead and uh, call that here. So to call that here, what you need to do is uh, on press is a function as usual. Call this daily dialog and pass in a context. Delete dialog context uh, dot then since it returns a, is a future, right? And it returns a future is like how do you say this you'll get values at a later like an async okay this is why if you remember while i typed future it asked me to import the uh, dot async library right i'll uh, i'll explain this a bit later guys i don't want you i mean i don't want to overload you guys with too much stuff right when you start okay as and when you progress on you'll understand the usage of each and everything which means that there is no need for an explanation right you'll understand where to use which uh, type or which class or which component uh, in that way uh, you'll, i feel you'll get a better understand a better practical understanding of all the concepts rather than me trying to push in more information uh, right at the beginning so that's why i'm saying i'll explain at a later point of time i'll explain at a later point of time uh, anyway let's move on uh, if i start to rant that's it I'll keep on ranting so uh, then this is again a function uh, this will return value right we'll get a value and say this what I'll do is uh, print uh, value is now I'm simply printing it to the console uh, sorry uh, yeah console uh, whatever value that I get which is true or false okay uh, let's try running you understand what I have done so far right I have simply created a delete dialog class in which I am returning a show dialog show dialog is returning an alert dialog here which has 
ഐ വിറ്റ് ജസ്റ്റ് ആസ്റ്റ് വിറ്റ് ജസ്റ്റ് വിറ്റ് ജ ഹല ഡയലോഗ് വിറ്റ് ജസ്റ്റ് ഷോസ് എ ത്രോസ് എപ്പ് എ ഡയലോഗ് ആസ്കിങ് ആർ യു ഷുവർ ആൻഡ് ഇറ്റ് ഹാവ് ടു ഓപ്ഷൻ ചെയ്സ് ഓർണു വിച്ച് ആർ ഓപ്ഷൻ ദി യൂസ് എർ ടാപ്സ് കറസ്പോണ്ടിങ് ബൂലിയൻ വാല്യൂസ് റിട്ടേൺ വിച്ച് ഇസ് ദൻ പ്രിൻഡ് ഓൺ ടു ദി കൺസോൾ ദറ്റ്സ് ഇറ്റ് ലെറ്റ്സ് ട്രൈ റണ്ണിങ് ദിസ് ആൻഡ് സി വാട്ട് ആപ്പൻസ് സോ ഐം സേവിങ് ദിസ് ഐ എം ഗെറ്റിംഗ് ദിസ് നൈസ് ബട്ടൺ ഹിയർ റൈറ്റ് ഐ ലെറ്റ് മീ ക്ലിക്ക് ഓൺ ദിസ് റിമൂവ് ആൻഡ് യു ഗെറ്റ് എ നീറ്റ് ഡയലോഗ് റൈറ്റ് ആൻഡ് ഇറ്റ് ആസ് ടു ഓപ്ഷൻസ് യെസ് എൻ നോ ഫോർ നോ വെൽ ജസ്റ്റ് ക്ലിക്ക് ഓൺ യെസ് എൻ സി വാട്ട് ആപ്പൻസ് സി വാല്യൂ ഈസ് ട്രൂ റൈറ്റ് If you click on no, value is false. So yeah, this is, now you understand how to basically uh, implement a dialogue, right? Uh, if you see here, you can just click on anywhere and then dismiss it, right? And it, it's just returning null. So in order to prevent that, just go here and then uh, below the context, just type barrier dismissible false. Okay. now if you just try tapping it won't be dismissed you just need to tap on any of these options in order for the dialog to get dismissed anyway that was just a cool hack that i showed you uh, anyway this is how you bring in dialogs inside your flutter applications guys in this video we saw how to bring in lists how to bring in beautiful lists uh, we saw what's leading and trailing it's not much of a concept and we saw how to bring in dialogs in order to uh, learn more cool stuff on dialogs i'll uh, try to link in one of my friends uh, video in the description his name is brandon or something yeah brandon his name is brandon uh, um, yeah that's it guys uh, in our next video we'll saw we'll see uh, more cool stuff on flutter uh so far the response to this flutter video has been really good uh thanks guys thanks for all the support you have been showing me uh if you like this video kindly hit the like button if you like what i'm doing on this channel hit the subscribe button if you would like to watch more cool stuff on flutter ionic angular uh especially these three kindly and fibers fibers uh, kindly uh, subscribe so yeah i'll talk to you guys in my next video bye